I don't want to do this. You need this, pal. Trust me. I've been through more bad breakups than you've had hot lunches. The only way to get over it is to get right back on the horse. Don't you mean horse? No, sir, I do not. But picking up women in a bar? I didn't like doing this when I was a horny college kid. I can't imagine my game has improved through the years of disuse. Don't sell yourself short. You've got something that horny college kid could only dream of having. Which is? Money. I don't know. I've never been very good at just going up and talking to people. That's why we're here. I've got it all taken care of. You don't have to worry about a thing. If everybody can find their seat, we'll be starting the speed dating activities in just a few moments. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Not a chance, Ponch. Take a chance, Brian. Come on, what do you have to lose? But speed dating? It seems so, I don't know, ten years ago. Exactly. That's how you know anybody who's still doing it is totally desperate. Like us? Exactly. Ah, Dr. Handsome. Imagine smashing into you here. What a small fictional world we live in. And Igor? Igor, what are you doing here? I'm here for the speed mating, of course. I come here every week between restraining orders. Ooh, they're starting. I better pick my seat, and then I better sit down. <laughs> I'm laughing because it sounds like a joke, but, but it's not. This is a bad idea. Says the guy who created a robot with the option of self-determination that almost destroyed us and the entire world. Which I entrusted to you. You're making my point for me, Bri. <sighs> Fine. Great. Just a few quick tips. Don't mention the ex-wife. Don't mention the kids. And whatever you do, don't mention the death ray. Aw, I'm proud of that death ray. You know how guns are considered a penis substitute? I can't even imagine what a death ray is compensating for. Uh, hello again, everybody. I see a lot of familiar faces tonight. Hello, Mr. Hostman. I can be within 100 yards of the building again. Lots of familiar faces. I'd like to welcome you all to Bar None, our fine city's only convent slash microbrewery, and our weekly speed dating night. Most of you know the rules. Tonight, we're going to mix it up, and the men will stay seated while the ladies move from table to table. You have three minutes to get to know one another, at the end of which I will sound this buzzer. Remember the rules. No touching. You must move on when the buzzer sounds. And no asking anyone if they want to sit on your hump. Ah. I'll now sound the buzzer, and we can begin. Hi, I'm April. I'm, uh, I'm Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian. I haven't seen you here before. No, this is my first time. I just recently got diverticulitis. Oh, I'm so sorry. What's that? It's when feces gets trapped in pouches within the colon and becomes inflamed. So, what do you do? Hi, nice to meet you. My name's Susan. I'm Ponch's Pilates. You can call me Ponch. Oh my god. Aren't you that guy on the radio? Why, yes. Yes, I am. Rape! Rape! What? I'm just sitting here. I could just squat here and stare at you all night. Your brown eyes are like pools of the finest muck. Your skin glows like the shiniest male mac. Your flowing hair makes me have to go to the bathroom. And your body makes me want to rub all up on it for days, only taking brief breaks for refreshment and personal hygiene as required by law. In short, you are the most beautiful human type being I've ever seen. I'm a man. And your point being? Who are you guys again? I'm Big Bubba. Now I'm Little Shaver. And you want me to do what with a pickle? Do you have any hobbies? What do you do in your spare time? Well, I have been working on trying to take over the world. Oh, impressive. And how's that going? <sighs> I'm at a speed dating night. Ah. I live in a castle, like a real actual castle, with a moat and a drawbridge and everything. Do you rent or own? Uh, neither, actually. So you're a squatter? That depends on what you're into, baby. Wait. Aren't you that guy on the radio? Yeah. Eat mace, pervert! Ah! 
I'm John Reese Davis. You may know me as Sala from the Indiana Jones trilogy, or Gimli the Dwarf from the Lord of the Rings trilogy, or as the creepy guy who followed you in from the parking lot. Oh, right. Say, is that a boner? Indeed it is. I took a handful of Vigora six months ago, and it's been like walking around with a cement hot dog in my pocket ever since. It's even begun to glow at night. A pulsating red beacon. I could lead Santa's sleigh on Christmas Eve. Can I touch it? God, no. What's the show called again? Sideshow Lounge? Oh, I've heard of that. Are you the one I like? I'm Brian. I'm, like, the boss. No, that's not it. There's Punch. He... Ew. No. Well, the only other one is Sam. That's it. Sam. Kind of dumb, but really sweet. Yeah, that's Sam. That's the one I like. Can I get his number? That's when I blew up the entire cruise ship. Your voice sounds so familiar. No, it doesn't. No, it really does. You must have me confused with someone else. I've got it. Aren't you that guy on the radio? Maybe. Eat electricity, pervert! Ow! Don't tase me, ho! Look, for the hundredth time... I am a man, and so are you. Now, don't be so hasty, Puddin. I have been both. In fact, I might be both right now. I, I haven't checked today. Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm sorry, what? I'm Kevin. Could you speak up? Kevin, my name is Kevin. Steven? No, Kevin. Bevan? Kevin, like Costner. Kevin Costner? Yes. You're trying to tell me you're Kevin Costner. No, just Kevin, like Costner, Kevin Costner. You're not Kevin Costner. I know I'm not. I can't believe you're trying to tell me you're Kevin Costner. I'm not, I just meant... You should be ashamed of yourself. Okay. Then there's my ex-wife, or as I call her, the bitch of the world. I just miss my kids so much. Mordecai and Small Jeff. <laughs> At least I think those are their names. I have a death ray. Ooh, too bad about the penis. Damn it, Punch. Do you listen to the radio? Yes. I'm him. Eat a kick to the balls, pervert. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. And that's the end of our speed dating night. I want to thank you all for coming and remind you that this Friday is opening night of our all nun production of David Mamet's Sexual Perversity in Chicago. Tickets are not going fast. So how'd it go? Jesus, what happened to you? Uh, let's see. I got maced, then I got tased, then I got kicked in the junk by a woman wearing those pointy-toed boots. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Are you kidding? This was awesome. I'm thinking of coming back next week. Have you seen Igor? I think I saw him leave about a half hour ago with uh, some, some guy. How'd it go for you? Did you get any numbers? As a matter of fact, I did. All right, Brian. I told you this was a good idea. Is she hot? Oh, she's hot, all right. Turns out she's an arsonist. I paid her to come back later tonight to burn this place to the ground so I never have to come back. That's the Brian I know and love. Yep, I've still got it. Should probably tell the nuns, though. Fuck them. Sideshow Lounge is produced by Hello Cowboy Productions. All rights reserved. Pervert! <laughs>